hello guys and welcome back to another insightful video on my youtube channel so in today's video i will be talking about how i personally use the change of intent and the break of structure to take quality traits right so if this sounds like something that you really want to learn you might want to stick around to the end of this video and if you're not subscribed to the channel kindly hit that subscribe button turn on post notifications and leave a comment and a thumbs up after watching this video right so with that being said let us jump straight onto the chat and see what we, we have for today welcome back to the chat guys so the change of intent and the break of structure so these are two simple theories that i personally use in my trading right and in as much as i use my break of structure on the higher time frames i equally use the break of structure with the change of intent on intraday basis as well to take quality intraday trades right so um change of intent is what many people term as change of character but i personally use it in a different way and that is what i am going to show you today right so personally i use the change of intent such that you know when a higher time frame swing leg um is about to end it is a change of intent that confirms to me that intraday time frames are ready to also align with higher time frame swing legs right that is either to begin a retracement or to continue with a higher time frame continuation okay so what do i mean by that okay so i'm going to use this pictorial um representation over here to explain okay so using this pictorial representation as an example okay the blue line is going to be my higher time frame and the black line is going to be my intraday time frame you know so let's say price has made a low right and has put in a swing high okay so how would i know because you know when price begins to make swing moves it is not going to fly forever okay there are some points in time in the market where um, the market retraces before it makes a continuation okay so this is where i want to show you so anytime price makes a swing right because we can't tell where the swing will end the only way to know that a swing has ended is when it makes a change of intent on the intraday basis okay so for instance we can see that when price was making that um, higher time frame swing leg the black line which was the intraday time frame was equally making what higher highs and higher lows right until it, it got to the top here where we had price making that higher high and the higher low of that intraday time frame got taken out now immediately i see this happening on the higher time frame and within the intraday time frame right i know that price is ready to begin a retracement right and so i start looking for entries right here okay okay so so this is the change of intent i'm talking about right here so right now i have seen price telling me on intraday basis that the swing leg of the higher time frame has somehow end, ended right and it is ready to make a retracement to some levels where we can start to look for a continuation right and we can see that price continue with a break of structure okay so in here this i will term as a break of structure because already 15 minutes has what switched intent it has showed me that it wants to go bearish so if i get price breaking structure to the downside once more it confirms to me the intention of the price to make what the retracement okay so we can see that price was making lower highs and lower lows right until it got into some levels of the higher time frame okay and then we saw that the intraday time frame did what the last break of structure to the downside and a break of structure to the upside this break of structure to the upside right switching the intraday from a bearish one to a bullish one is what i would term again as a change of intent okay so immediately i see this i know that the retracement of the higher time frame has ended and it is ready to begin what um the continuation right on the higher time frame okay so let me quickly show examples of this um on the real life markets so that you know what i am talking about okay 
So to show you um, real life examples on the chart, okay, I am going to quickly um, identify all the swing points of the higher time frames so that you don't get confused, okay? So this would be our H4 um, high. I'm going to change it to red, okay? Light red or whatsoever, I call it pink or whatsoever. So the pink ones are going to be H4 swing legs, right? And we are going to see how um, the intraday time frame switched intent within those zones for price to um, continue the moves to um, whatever it was going, okay? And the blue ones are going to be H1, okay? So in here we have H1 right here. And that is going to be blue. Okay, so now that we have easily identified our swing legs, right? So this is the whole H4 swing leg. Within the H4, we had H1 making what lower highs and lower lows, right? And H1 broke structure to the upside, retraced it to certain levels, and it continued with the H1 move, right? The reason why you see blue and red here is because this high was an H1 high and also was um, an H4 lower high, right? So this was the whole H4 bearish leg, right? So if price makes this complex pullback, into h4 supply zone this becomes this becomes a lower high okay so that is why i'm marketing blue and red and then we have that h4 push the downside breaking this level of structure right so yeah so quickly let us go into intraday time frames and see how the intraday time frames informed us that it wanted to make this tense okay so the first one in here um, on the H4, we can see that after price putting in that H4 high, right? After price putting in that H4 high, the 15 minute was making what? Higher highs and higher lows, right? So higher highs and higher lows, right? Higher highs and higher lows. And this was basically the last 15 minute um, low that made the high, okay? And we can see how it got taken out nicely. Okay, so this in here becomes my change of intent, telling me that price wants to what to begin a retracement or to, to begin a move to the downside, right? And this one was a retracement of the H4 leg before it got taken out. So before this H4 low got taken out, it was a retracement leg. And remember that this whole H4 leg is made up of h1 swing legs okay so we have this h1 one two three um four and then five okay so when it started initially it was going to be a retracement of this h1 bullish leg right and once the h1 also confirms that it wants to what um also continue with the h4 retracement then this whole retracement legs becomes the h4 retracement leg right but it is the each one that is building the, building them up okay so we have that change of intent um confirming the retracement we had that each one breaking structure so like i said when a bigger time frame um price is making huge moves it doesn't mean that it's going to fly forever or it's going to dump forever right so at some point in time price will make a retracement so we can see that after this each one um low gets taken out this major liquidity gets taken out the intraday time frame made what a change of intent telling you that it wants to begin another retracement but this time around the retracement is for this h1 leg okay so on a normal day you are going to expect price to come into certain levels okay which we don't know sometimes you can have your supply zone marked but you don't know where price is going to turn and this is a typical example okay so we can see that on the 15 minute or on the intraday time frame after this change of intent right price made a follow through break of structure okay so this low over here made a high okay so we had that follow through break of structure and then we had this low in here okay putting another high if you go into the five minutes you are going to see why i'm classifying it as a low okay so that was the low and putting it putting that high okay and if i should take my real line too you're going to see that this wake over here got taken out nicely 
you know, so many people have been asking me whether brick or structures um, is considered by wigs or bodies. You know, to me, it's both wigs and bodies. Mostly when I'm on the intraday time frame, I am very, very concerned about wigs, wig, wig break or structures. And this is a typical example. You can see how the tip of it, I just want to make sure it is very, very clear. The tip of it got taken out by this little wig, right? So that led to a change of intent. Okay, so initially, price intraday was what bullish, making higher, higher highs and higher lows. And we have that change of intent right here. Okay, and we can see how price came into certain levels after this change of intent, meaning the 15 minutes was bearish, took out the Asian high, right? And made a follow through break of structure. So if you're not convinced by this um, change of intent, at least you should know that after this follow through break of structure, there is enough confirmation to look for what sells to the downside. This time around, if you're taking the sell, because the H1 is aligning with the um, M15, and because we know that price is retracing, we are going to take it not to just here. This will be a minimum target. The H1 low will be your minimum target. And because we couldn't anticipate that price was going to break structure on the H4 um, level or the H4 demand, we would have taken it to certain levels of what H4. Okay, until probably price broke structure. We couldn't tell. Okay, so we see how the 15 minute change intent right in here to tell us uh, sorry right in here okay to tell us that it wanted to continue with that retracement okay so after putting in this h4 low remember this was the last h4 um low that made the high okay and and that the and that low has been taken out so right now we have 15 we have the h4 um bearish okay so it means that this becomes our H4 bearish leg. And any move we see in here is just a, a retracement. Okay, so how do we know that that H4 leg wants to begin a retracement? Okay, so after that H4 break of structure, we can see clearly in here how the 15 minute um, high made that low. Okay, so this becomes the last 15 minute swing leg. And we had that beautiful change of intent even though price did not retrace to the downside there were means to take um this bias from here and even here okay and this was through reaccumulation okay i explained those models in my last two last two videos right so we had um continuations to the upside right and remember that the h1 was bearish okay h1 was bearish Okay, so every move, every buy that we're going to take was going to be what? Counter trend trade to the H1 until the H1 broke structure. Okay, so after H1 breaking structure, we now have H1 as what? As bullish. Okay, telling us that it wants to what? Confirm that what? H4 retracement leg. Okay. So, um, let me clear all these things. So, H1 is bullish right now. Okay. And how do we know that after this H1 break of structure, price is going toward to retrace or price has ended this whole swing um, move and is ready to retrace, right? So on the 15 minute time frame, what do we see? This is the last um, low of the 15 minute time frame that made a high, okay? And we can see how this level got sticking out, right? Sometimes it can be very confusing. But you need to open your eyes. You need to. That is why it's also important to know which leg um, of price that you are legging, you are working in. Okay. So we had this change of intent and we had this follow through break of structure. On a normal day, we were expecting price to react from this level. Okay. But price broke structure. So we had another change of intent right here. Immediately I see this because price is not where it's supposed to change intent. Okay. So immediately I see this. I know that price is starting with a ranging market. So I'm going to wait for a major intraday level to be taken out, which that major intraday level is right in here. Okay, either here or here. Okay, so any of these sides that gets taken out, then I will know that price is ready to continue with the direction that it wants to move to.
okay so personally i remember i had some buys in here i'm not going to talk about that and i was expecting price to take out this high okay but we can see that it didn't get taken out this high was protected and fast forward we had this major intraday level i'm um, taking out and that is when i confirmed that price was again ready to move to the downside okay and we can see how price moved to the downside got into some levels of h1 um which was also in confluence with a reaccumulation from i think the previous week or whatsoever yeah so when price got in here how would we know that price is ready to what make the continuation okay it was a continuation of the h1 leg okay h1 structure but a retracement of h4 remember h1 is bullish because h4 needs to retrace so whatever um position you are going to take in here from this zones will be a continuation of the h1 but it is a retracement um leg of the h4 okay so we can see clearly that when price got into these levels of the h1 this was basically the last high that made the low okay so we have that break of structure beautifully and this is what I again term as what a change of intent. Okay, so it just tells us that price is ready to, to make the move to the upside. And we can see how beautifully price um, continued with the moves okay, to the upside. Now, when it got into some levels of the H4, okay, so this was the H4 um, supply zone that we were looking at. We can see that even though price didn't get into that level of H4 supply, okay, how would we have known that it was ready to what to make that fall, right? So if you look in here, this was the last um, 15 minute high, right? That made the retracement, okay? And we had a follow through break of structure. Okay, you always need to pay attention to details. So again, I'm going to take the red line too and put it right here on the high. And you're going to see that this wick took out that 15 minute high. Okay, so it makes this level what a 15 minute break of structure. So this becomes a 15 minute leg, right? And we had that change of intent right here with the wick. Okay, you can call it a liquidity grab or so, but to me, it is a change of intent. Okay, once I see this break of structure to the upside and a break of structure to the downside, it's a change of intent for me. Okay, but unfortunately, this level of the 15 minute um, supply zone did not hold after making this push to the downside. And fast forward, um, I think it was a news or something. We had a push to the upside again. Okay, continuing with the 15 minute um uh, books right and again what did i see about such scenarios is it means that price is beginning to range and so i'm going to wait for um major levels of intraday to be taken out where this is either here right or here okay and we can see how price came down nicely and took out this level confirming that it wants to move to the downside personally i think i had some trades in here um, as a counter trend to this whole uh, move sorry to this whole move right and price just broke structure i had reasons for entering my trade okay so yeah i'm not going to go into that entry but i'm going to get a screenshot i'm still holding the trade right now i'm going to get a screenshot and put it at the left side of the screen okay so after this break of structure we were convinced that price is ready to what to make a move to the downside okay and this is the importance of sometimes having other confluences to take um certain trades first as counter trend then immediately price changes intent you flow with the market we can see that after the break of structure price did not retrace it continued with a move downwards okay so we had that 15 minute sorry we have that h h4 level in here breaking structure nicely okay now after the break of structure you can see again we can tell from the intraday time frame that price wants to make a retracement okay so h4 has broken structure right in here 15 minutes has made a push to the downside okay we can tell we can only tell if the h4 wants to make a retracement when this 15 minute high gets taken out but from here clearly we can see that the 15 minute high was protected it tells me that price is not ready to make any retracement 
um on the on the four hour leg okay so this is my whole let me pull this down a little this is my whole four hour leg okay and price didn't give me any intention that it wanted to what make a retracement of the h4 and then back to the downside no so i just continued with the bears or the, the sales to the downside until price got into levels of what daily demand and we can see even in here on the daily demand this is this is fun if you know how to read whatever is going on it's it will be very very fun it wouldn't be difficult like that okay so um i made a call um this sunday uh, in my previous video telling you that we'll be looking for buys either there was a zone up here which got broken and i explained why that it could get broken and this was the second zone in which we're looking at on the daily time frame okay if you move to the left you're going to see what i'm talking about so in here we have the 15 minutes making what lower highs and lower lows right nicely and this was the last high that made a low okay so immediately i saw this break on structure we just know that price has changed intent okay so now i i personally was thinking that price was going to move from here to the upside and continue with the with the move to the upside but you know i don't control price right so this was the last 15 minute low that made a high immediately i see this break of structure i just know again that 15 minutes is ranging because there was nothing in here to tell me that 15 minutes should change intent okay so again i'm going to wait for two things either a major intraday high is taking or a major intraday low is taking of which the of which the major intraday um low i'm talking about after this change of intent is going to be either here right and the high i'm talking about is here which one gets taken out first and we realize that this level gets taken out first okay confirming to me that this becomes my recent 15 minute swing um legs right so a low a high that made a low okay and we can see how this asian low got protected okay it's simply because price has has tapped into a level of demand and so there is a higher possibility that this level of the asian um low will be protected as a major liquidity pool okay so after this move to the downside we know that the 15 minutes is bearish so now i have a break of structure in here um on the 15 minute that is a change of intent telling me that price wants to what to make a move to the upside and i'm hoping that this um move that has started on the 15 minute will continue to make the push to the upside to either um for our supply zones in here somewhere i think so and if this for our supply zone holds you're gonna have price pushing to the downside but if it fails then we are going to have price moving all the way up and every other supply zone of the H4 that we have over here will become target liquidity. This high of the daily will also become a target liquidity. Okay, so this is where I'm going to end today's video. If you found value in it, give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment in the comment section and make sure you're subscribed to the channel if you're not subscribed to it. So see you in the next video, guys.